Hey, it's Jennifer with Pigskins and Pigtails. Imagine you have this awesome idea for a t-shirt design, but you're not sure how it's going to look in real life. That's where creating a t-shirt mock-up comes in handy. It's a process where you take a digital photo of a t-shirt on your computer and you put your design file right on top. This allows you to see what it would look like without actually having to print it on a t-shirt. It's a great way to preview your design and make sure it looks good before you place an order for those blank t-shirts. You could use a clip art of a t-shirt, but to get the true feel for what the shirt will look like in real life, I like using photos of the actual t-shirt blanks that I'll be printing on. This way you can see the exact color you'll be ordering. Press Hall has a free library of Bella Canvas t-shirt images that we're gonna be using. Press Hall is my favorite source for blank t-shirts. I love ordering from them because they carry all the brands I love at wholesale prices. They have so many blanks available on their website that it can be overwhelming to decide which one to order. But with this mock-up trick, it helps me decide the perfect blank. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use my favorite unisex Bella Canvas tees. These come in 55 colors and are always a customer favorite because of the soft fit and durability. From the Press Hall blog post linked in the description of this video, download the library of Bella Canvas photos to your computer. This is a great resource provided by Press Hall because you get an image of every shirt color in the Bella Canvas 3001 and 3001 CVC line. Now I'm gonna open canva.com in my web browser. You can use the free account for this, but I'm also gonna show you some features of Canva Pro that might make it worth upgrading. From here, choose Create a Design button and scroll down to the Instagram post, which will make our image 1080 by 1080. This is great for social media posts or website listings. If you're creating a mock-up for another purpose, you will wanna choose the appropriate size here. Next, I'm gonna click on the Uploads tab and drag those photos I downloaded from Press Hall right into my Canva account. Once these have all uploaded, now you have all of the Bella Canvas 3001 and 3001 CVC t-shirt colors to work with. I'm gonna grab one t-shirt and drag it to make it larger and fill the screen. Next, we can upload our SVG or PNG design file that you plan to use when you make the shirt. Just drag the design right on top of your t-shirt and resize it to fit on the shirt. Now's where we can have some fun and pick our colors. This design from Chameleon Cuttables would look great on any color shirt, so it's fun to change out the shirts until I find one that I love. To do this, I just drag each color shirt and drop it right on top of the previous color. So I'm gonna see which color looks best with this. I love the Bella Canvas Mustard with navy ink, so that's the one I'm gonna go with. This helps me make up my mind so that I can go back to presshall.com and, and order the blanks that I know will look perfect for my project. Now I can make this shirt come to life with the confidence of knowing I'm gonna love the final result. Now that you can see how helpful this process is for deciding a shirt color, if you're trying to start a t-shirt business, let me show you how you can take these mock-ups one step further. First, you can add some of your branding colors around the t-shirt. You could create a template you love and use this on your shop page so that all of your t-shirts look consistent and branded to your business. Be sure to add in your logo or any other brand elements here. Or you can create a mock flat lay by using Canva Pro's photos. I grabbed a pair of jeans and you can try different elements like shoes I use the background remove tool to get rid of the background on these, and then you can layer them. It's easy to try different photos, all available within Canva. And now you have a styled flat lay without getting out your camera. With this process, you're able to create images of your products before you actually make them. This is a great way to test out different designs and see what your customers will order. And the best part is you haven't invested in any inventory yet. So you can start a t-shirt business without buying any shirts up front. Once you've collected a few orders, you know exactly how many shirts to buy and what sizes. You can run a t-shirt business like this and never have any inventory of printed shirts that didn't sell. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to see more screen printing tips and project ideas, be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media at Pigskins and Pigtails.